Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Bappi Hamed and I'm your host. So guys, in this video, I'll show you how we can implement end-to-end -end, uh, generative AI projects with the help of Llama Index. I think I already uh, taken one session on Llama Index, like we have seen like how we can use Llama Index and all, and what is the difference between uh, Llama Index and your Langchain. Okay, both are similar, but uh, like both are like different framework. You can use them to build your generative AI application. But uh, like we saw the experiment on the like Google Collab Notebook. So in this video, I'll show you like how we can use Streamlit package to create the web app and all, okay? Like how we can do it. And I will also provide some assignment. Uh, I will also give you some of the task uh, in this video so that actually you can, you know, so whatever you have learned actually so far, you can utilize this one here, okay? So uh, I'm not going to implement these projects from scratch because I have already discussed uh, the uh, like process, how we develop like one end to end projects, okay? So uh, that is why I already implemented one particular projects as you can see here. So this is like a financial stock uh, analysis project I have developed with the help of this Llama index. So first of all, I will uh, show you the demo of this projects. Okay, like, like what is the projects and all about. So those who are interested in the field of uh, financial or let's say in the domain of financial. So uh, they will be loving this project because here you can uh, do like a stock analysis. Okay, so we have some stock data. We have some articles actually as you can see. So these are the articles I have uh, downloaded from the internet and this is in the HTML format. So we'll be processing, these are the data, we'll be collecting the content, okay? If you see, this is the completely HTML data. So here we have lots of uh, like financial stock data, like we have Google data, then we have NVIDIA, we have Meta, okay? Then we have uh, MS, uh, uh, here if you see MS FT, okay, as you can see. So we have different, different, like you can say companies uh, stock data here. So I already uh, given the link of the data in my GitHub. So you can download from here. I will show you like how to download the data. So that is script I have already written. So first of all, let me execute the project. So uh, I will first of all execute this project and show you like how it will work. So see guys, this is the Streamlit app I have developed and uh, here you can do two kinds of uh, analysis. One is like you can do a single stock analysis. Another is a competitive uh, analysis okay like competitor analysis i'll show you both of you okay so here first of all let's do the single uh, stock analysis so i'll just ask what is the stock of here if you see so they have given the short name for each and every company if you come here so i've already listed down so let's ask uh, for the nvidia so i'll copy the nvidia and here i will ask So guys, as you can see, I have asked like, what is the stock of NVIDIA? So it is giving me the answer. Okay. You can see it is giving, it is giving like uh, 2023 to 2027. Okay. It's giving the stock as you can see now, and you can ask for any kinds of stock. Let's ask for the Google. So I'll copy Google and here I, I paste and enter. So now it will give me the stock of the Google. So that's how actually you can ask different, different stock related question. Okay. Um, if you're uh, interested in. Uh, these kinds of stock and also you can ask lots of question and you can get the response with respect to that okay as you can see this is the google stock uh, answer it is giving now we can also perform like a competitive uh, stock analysis so just select the competitive one now it will give you the interface of the competitive analysis so guys as you can see this is the competitive analysis one so now here you need to provide stock one uh, symbol and stock two symbol. So let's do like uh, MSFT and I will also do for my NVIDIA. Let's see the competitive analysis between them. Uh, so see guys, uh, this is the competitive analysis between them. As you can see, you can read it out. Okay. So not only that, you can uh, like uh, see like competitive analysis be, uh, between all the company here is the listed. Okay. And this is the symbol of the stock. Like uh, you can't directly pass the company name. So you need to give the symbol. Okay. Because this is your custom data you have given like that. So yes, guys, this is the projects actually uh, I have developed with the help of this Lama index. And this is very much uh, interesting projects uh, like in the field of financial domain. And you can see implement lots of thing with the help of this Lama index. I think I already showed you like lots of uh, like functionality and all. 
and i already showed you lots of uh, things okay uh, with the help of open source model and all you can implement anything okay whatever you can think in your mind you can implement anything just you need to try from your side okay now guys uh let me show you like how i have developed these projects okay so this is the projects guys i have already developed and uh let me show you uh, this is the code for the projects okay so i'll explain each and everything like whatever things actually i'm doing and i have already given the idea about lama index and uh, this uh streamlit and all so uh i think you are already familiar with these are the thing okay i'm expecting so that's why i'll be explaining the projects okay instead of writing all the line from scratch so first of all let me stop the execution then uh, i will remove this article folder because this is my generated folder then i will also remove this stories okay stories i think you remember stories is nothing but it's a vector store we created with the help of lamb index right so both i have deleted now here is the readme file i have already shared like what are the steps you need to perform so here first of all you need to clone the repository so this repository will find from the description section so from there actually you can download the projects then you need to create one environment okay python environment uh, using python 3.8 then you need to activate the environment then you need to install the requirements so requirement wise i mean using these are the requirements as you can see so you are using lama index then streamlit python.env okay and apart from that i'm also using openai and some uh, you can say a dependency package i'm also installing here so this thing you need to install i already showed you how to install them and all how to create the environment in my previous project implementation then after that uh, you need to uh, execute this app.py okay but before running the app.py you should have your data and you should have your vector store presence okay otherwise it won't be working so for this actually in the src folder i have written some of the script as you can see first of all we need to fetch the data so this is the link guys so in this link actually this articles is available i have already given this link and this is uh, this is hosted on my github so from here you can download those data set okay Down download those articles and after that see uh, i have written one function with the help of this function i am downloading so basically it will take this url data url and it will download that uh, zip file okay from my github and it will and it will unzip it okay it will unzip it here and that zip file it will remove okay so this is the code i have written now let me show you how it is working so i already created the environment so now i'll execute this particular file so i'll just write python uh, inside src inside src i have one file called 01 uh, fetch data okay i will execute this file now see guys it will download that uh, data from my url so see guys it has downloaded all the html file and now see if i open my articles all the data are present now what i need to do i need to create one vector state i i think you already know like what is vector state i i already explained these are the thing in my notebook experiment okay what are the steps i perform same thing i'm doing here also okay so uh, to create the vector store i created another file called index news dot pi so here i'm using this gpt vector store to create my vector embedding so here you can also use google pam embedding you can also use hugging face embedding anything you can use just try to use open source embedding uh, because uh, if you're if you don't want to use like open ai so if you don't want to spend money so you can go go with like open source model otherwise uh, if you have like open ai account you can also use open api key so here you see i have already set my open api key so by default if you're not giving any embedding models it will take that open ai embedding model okay so this uh, GPT uh, vector is, uh, store index already has like uh, GPT based uh, embedding model. It will take that model and it will uh, convert your data to vector embedding. Okay. So guys, this should be your task. Just try to replace this code with your open source model. I think I showed you how we can use hugging face embedding model in this notebook. Uh, see guys here, hugging face embedding model I was using. See, you also need to use hugging face embedding model here. Okay. In this case, I'm using OpenAI. So you need to replace with the hugging face embedding model. Okay. I think I already showed each and everything. So you can do it. Now let me first of all generate these are the embeddings. So I'll clear. Then I will run this uh, second file. So it's zero two. So it will take time because it will take all the articles. It will it will uh, convert to chunks. Then it will uh, like convert them to vector embedding. Okay. Then it will create the stories here. So here you can also integrate like vector database. So you can use Pinecone, WebIt, and you can also use ChromaDB. Uh, but I'm using this default uh, like vector stored index. So uh, it, uh, Lama index provide this thing. So it will store your embedding local. Okay, it will create one storage folder and it will store here. So you can also use a vector um, uh, database and you can store them in the cloud as well. Okay, I already showed you. Just try to integrate here. Uh, so guys, as you can see, my uh, storage has been created. Now this is my vector. Uh, so see these are my embedding 
so these are my vector okay so now we are successfully uh, able to store our uh, vector embedding now see uh, now this is the third uh, script i have written so if you want to test on top of your uh, like stories so i here i am loading the stories and i'm just asking one query like what is uh, tell me about google's new supercomputer okay so this is the query i'm asking so it will give you the response so you can try out okay so let me execute and show you how it is working so i'll just write python then inside src I have this 03 yeah so see guys uh, this is the um, response I got okay so yeah that means my uh, storage has been created successfully and we are also able to uh, ask the query on top of it now we'll be converting these are the thing okay uh, as our app so basically I will uh, give some of the input okay uh, user will ask the query and they will also select like they, they want to perform like say a single stock analysis or let's say uh, multiple stock analysis so this kind of functionality i'll also add so for this i'll i have already created one uh, app.py as you can see this is the app.py uh, here if you see uh, my index is already created so that's why i'm uh, importing the storage context and load index from the storage because i want to load it then i'm also importing like llm wise open ai because i told you i'll be using open ai uh, like model here uh, instead of using open source so here you just need to replace this uh, open ai model with your open source model you can also use palm 2 then you can also use lama 2 anything you can use i already showed you this thing in my this uh, notebook experiment okay in my lama index session just try to replace that these are the model here then uh, model wise see i've initialized zpt 3.5 turbo then here i'm just defining my llm predictor and i think you remember we had we had created one service context okay uh, so in lama index we create something called service context and this will take your llm so what is done i'm also loading my stories stories that means this uh, vector embedding okay as you can see i'm loading i'm giving the path once it is done i'm creating this query engine okay so once query engine is ready now we'll be creating the front end part so here basically if you see here we are uh, creating this uh, title and all like this is the title financial stock analysis so let me execute and show you how this thing will look like So see guys uh, this is the title and this is the report subtitle so these two i have created now here i am creating one uh, select box so what type of uh, like report you want to uh, you want so this is the select box guys let me show you this is the select box so if you want to create any kinds of select box you need to select uh, select box from streamlit and here is the message i have given so what type of uh, report you want to do and a single and competitive so here if you see these two things i am giving here so single and competitive then if user is selecting single one okay so first of all we'll be handling the single so here is the uh, prompt i have written let me show you so i'm just using my engine query query engine so as you can see query engine we have already mm, created and this is the like a prompt i'm just giving so write a report on uh, like on the outlook for symbol okay symbol user will give me that okay user will give me that symbol because as you can see we are uh, receiving the symbol so uh, as a text input text basically here is the symbol as input text we are receiving and that thing we are passing here okay as a string then once it is done this is my prompt stock from i'm just uh, mentioning the year i need this stock from this year and uh, i'm also telling like be sure include the potential risk and the uh, headwind okay so this is my prompt i have given to my llm so my llm will give me some response and that that response actually i need to show i need to showcase okay so i'm just using st.write and i'm just passing my like uh, this uh, response and it, it will show here so once it is uh, done so i'm also handling the competitive analysis so if user is selecting competitive analysis so first of all i'm taking like two competitive as you can see if i select the competitive one so here if you see i'm receiving the stock one and stock two and this thing actually i'm storing symbol one symbol two and this is the my second prompt okay so i'm just uh, writing writer's report on the competitive between my symbol one and symbol two uh, stock okay then it will give me the response and that's the response i'm showing in my uh, front end so this is the simple logic actually i have written uh, behind these projects okay and this is like very easy now you just need to uh, like convert them to open source model and if you have any idea on top of it you can also create it okay i think you got the overall idea and all the resources actually will get from the description section no worries about okay 
and in future i will also bring up some more interesting end to end projects okay in the field of generative ai so it would be pretty much good learning for you so we'll see like lots of thing we'll be implementing lots of thing okay we'll also implement our custom website uh, chatbot we'll be also implementing research paper summarizer okay so we'll be implementing lots of projects guys in future so stay tuned with us so yes guys this is all about from this video thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you next time